Hey everybody, it's Howitzer here, and I am super excited to be bringing you the first Let's Play episode of Enderol. And in case you're wondering, Enderol is brought to us by Sure AI, which is a group that made this Skyrim mod conversion. And what I mean by that is that it's using the Skyrim engine, but everything else is original. Story, lore, characters, all of that stuff is original, just the game engine is the same. So there should be some familiarity in playing it, but everything else should be new and, and different. The English version just came out with this, so I'm really excited to jump right in and see what it's all about. So let's jump in and start a new character. Talents can be developed up to tier 3 with the help of memory points. Higher tiers have better effects or add completely new ones. So we're going to have different ways to level, but still similar setup. Wow, talk about flora overhaul on steroids. Now they say you just need a little bit better PC than normal to run this, that it's just a little harder to run than Skyrim, but I notice even my system is having hiccups here and there, but beyond those hiccups I'm still getting 60 FPS everywhere else. Okay, so I can't do anything right now, like I can't pull out my fists, I can't change my perspective, so it Seems we're in tutorial right now. Still gonna explore around here. Wow. That's kind of creepy. I mean, so is the music, to be honest. Whoa, is that a kid? Like a child skeleton? That's kind of creepy. Now, I came out up here, but I don't know if I can... Can I do anything up here? No. Doesn't look like I can climb the ladder, so we'll just head on this way. I believe they want us to go to that house, but I like exploring around first. Especially with a land like this. Hey, what's that? I'm not even gonna... What? Lucoa Garicus? <laughs> I'll take it, whatever it is. I'm sure I can craft something with it. What's this? Nutritiousness of meat. Meat is life. Even the Ash people, who were populating this world before us, knew that. Each time they killed an enemy in battle, they teared out the liver and the heart of the fallen and ate them together with their family. By doing so, just as everyone knows, the strength of the beaten enemy is passed over. But as we are living in a time in which eating fellows is nonsensically seen as barbaric, we, the friends of the bloody meat, have to settle for animalistic one. Okay, this, you guys gotta keep in mind too that this is being translated from German, so they did a good job so far. I only played a little bit of this just to test it because I didn't want to put up a Let's Play that was just broken and crashing. But everything I saw early on was translated fairly well. I noticed that sometimes the subtitles don't match up with what words being said, but it it's the same meaning. And I'm sure they'll update that. This has already had many updates. What's that? A little doll? And another book. The Nutritiousness of Meat. Okay, that's the same thing. I 
I can't get over how lush the grass is. That's ridiculous. Spore crown. We'll take that. It's all original music in this too, and it's it's haunting music. There's an elk. I would probably even warn people up front that it's got a creepy vibe. I don't know if I'd call this a horror mod or anything like that. But it does it does have an adult creepy vibe. And when I say adult, I don't mean that as in like it's it's bad for kids to watch, but it, it could scare them in parts. You're not going to see anything horrible. But I and that's only in the short amount I played, so who knows? Maybe it gets worse or better as it goes on. Read scribbled note. O oh Lord, O oh, oh Maker, I can hear you calling. I feel your love. I know about your sacrifice. Without you, I am nothing. A twig on the currents of time. A sheep without shepherd. Free me from my vices and forgive me of my trespasses. Forgive to my wife and my child. Deliver me from my pains and bless us with your everlasting mercy. Okay, so like a father, someone wrote that, it sounds like. The grass is so thick that if there was something hidden, you could pass right by it. The other thing I will note is I'm not using any mods. There are a few mods that are actually okay to use with this, but modding this is nothing like modding Skyrim. It's already got a lot of mods built into it, so I actually chose not to mod it, but I am using my Real Vision ENB, which will add some saturation. Hey, who's this? Daddy? Hello? Oh, hey there. I didn't see you coming. So, how did it go? Did you find it? What is this place, Daddy? Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? We're at home, silly. Where else would we be? Just mommy, sister, you and me. Now tell me, how did it go? Did you find it? No, I didn't. No? Hmm, pity. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? Ugh. Oh well, who knows. Say, why don't you go inside and see if you can help Mommy with the cooking? The Creator was kind to us today and sent a big fat elk right in front of my bow. Alright? Anything I can loot out here? Okay, let's head inside then. I have a feeling we're still in tutorial, so that's why a lot of stuff is pretty locked right now. Man, they did such a good job with this game so far. Just seeing this stuff. And I do notice a Skyrim texture here and there, like that statue, but otherwise very original. I mean, of course the wood textures and stuff too, but... Take knife. Do I need a knife? Might as well. I think I already have a knife, don't I? Tomatoes. Probably use food. Maybe it works for healing. Empty. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck was that? Oh my gosh, that just sent shivers down my spine. That is so loud in the headset. Garlic. That's a creepy picture. Like, who are they cutting up here? F 
forbidden door. I don't think I want the key to that room. Dresser. Gold garnet. Take all that. Take I'll take a leak. <laughs> Leather strips. The art of crispy meat. Who doesn't know that? You're looking forward to a nice crispy piece of meat after a hard day of work, but your useless child who you instructed to cook it gives you a charred something instead. You castigate them, but the problem stays the same. You're hungry. Which means that there is no other way than doing it yourself. Walk to the fireplace. Cut out a big bluggy bloody chunk of the animal and throw it into the kettle and lo and behold slowly the pleasant smell of burned life reaches your nostrils is there anything better than that I don't think so what are they so worried about meat for I mean I guess that's what they're eating I mean who doesn't like a steak or a hamburger but this seems a little more dark. I mean, look at that. I think that's a famous painting of, like, Zeus eating his father or so something like that. I thought it had something to do with early Roman or European religions. I just know that looks familiar. Take a leak. Okay, that door's locked. Let's go in here then. There's the elk he killed. My, my, I totally forgot what a mess I left here. But I was right, wasn't I? A real gem we've got here. Well then, let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? But what about mommy and sister? What? Now would you look at that? I totally forgot about them. They're dead, don't you remember? You murdered them back then. What? Both of them. But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? At least this means there's more meat for the two of us. You still remember how to do this, right? First, off with the skin. Slice up the belly, then out with the entrails. I'll look for a nice sharp knife in the meantime, to cut off the head. I don't think either of us wants to eat that, do we? <laughs> oh wow, they're all the same. <laughs> but I didn't kill them, Daddy. It was the masked men. Oh silly, what's this again? We both know that's a lie. You did it. I remember it all. First, you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib. She screamed and screamed, and Mommy heard it, but when she finally got there, nothing was left of her but burnt flesh. And, oh gosh, do we really need to go through this again? You know how sad it makes me when you do this. You killed them, period. No matter how often you tell me you didn't, it changes nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Now please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. But I didn't kill them. It was the masked men. Oh, by the creator's name, why are you telling these lies? Isn't it enough that you murdered us? Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? <sighs> you know, sometimes I wish the creator would have made me just a little less merciful just a little less pious because then I would have realized that you were tainted by sin long before any of this had ever happened and instead of raising you feeding you and loving you like a father does I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born yes I should have killed you I should have just killed you just like you killed us and now you think you're safe because we're all under the earth don't you well, listen up, my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the dead don't forget. Do you hear me? 
The dead don't forget! Now enough of this useless chatter! I'm bloody starving! Bring okay, this is creepy as heck. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What the heck just happened? I'm under the house. Where is he? Let's begin with a question. It might sound simple to you at first. But I pray you to think about it. What distinguishes a free man from a slave? For now, however, let us start this story where another one ended three years ago. With the death of the Lightborn. For 4,000 years they had reigned over this world. Seven Arcanists, who through their magic had acquired eternal life time of chaos, they gave mankind what they thought it needed most, to be ruled over with an iron-clad, fair hand. Within just one century, they united the shattered lands, and a single century later, their human origin was forgotten. They became gods, or lightborn, as they let themselves be worshipped as. Yet the longer they reigned, the louder the voices grew that accused them of tyranny. The loudest being that of Naranzul Aranthio. And he succeeded in achieving what was once thought impossible. He gathered an army, overturned the Lightborn, and gave back freedom to mankind. However, the price for this was high, because where there are gaps of power, fights erupt. As such, this world grew into what it is today. Shattered, riven, and broken into pieces. But all of this was merely a diversion, so that no one would notice something else. The death of the Lightborn had set something into motion, a clockwork. Having long stood still, its gears now once again slowly began to turn. This is the story of someone who wanted to be free. Okay, so here we are in our menu selection for characters. We've got this elf looking character. We've got this big guy here, this imperial looking guy, and then this guy as well. So let's take a look through them. Native to swampy continent, Myar Aranath, the destruction of the land caused by decades of war forced many Eterna to escape to their other countries, where various destinies awaited them. Some pursued and disregarded them because of their innate magic talent. Some revered them for it. Many Eternia or many Eterna earn their life as traveling minstrels. So it sounds like these guys are like magic and bards, I guess. Originating in the barren and steppe-like continent of Arazil, the Arazilian bear the stamp of the splitted people, while the nomadic natives in the steppe maintain their pantheistic traditions. The coastal inhabitants regard those as primitive and struggle for recognition as a full-fledged part of the civilized world. As a secluded people, the inhabitants of the Belt of Kyle are said to have a reclusive mind. Kalanian or Kilanian are deemed as blessed businessmen, a rumor that can be ascribed to the Blue Island Coalition, which is Ven's biggest trading company, located in Kyle or Kile among other things. So that's a lot like the Imperial. Kyrnians or, or Quernians? Kyrnians? Originate from the namesake desert continent which is said to be both barren and inhospitable. At the same time it is known as the cradle of science, mysticism, and culture. 
While many foreign countries admire them for their advanced culture, they are often deemed as heretical and immoral, especially on religious continents like Inderol. Let's try that one. That actually sounds interesting. It sounds like he uses magic as well. So we're just going to go with Howitzer. Right, I remember. She fled from that civil war the Black Crescent caused, didn't she? Ironic, isn't it? Seems some parents pass on their fates to their children. <sighs> anyway... Whew, I'm gonna hit the hay for an hour or so. It's your turn to stand... Wait. You hear that? No. Shit! Someone's coming! Nowadays just don't okay, I can crouch now, so it looks like we're out of the That's tutorial. The I tell you, sometimes I long for the good old days, back when I could lift a skirt and nobody would bat an eye. Anyway, <laughs> enough of the chit chat. Now, where did I put that key? Oh, blazes, what do they want down here? The lamp, quickly, put out the lamp. Good. Now, quiet. Ah, here we Ah, smells like Vartier's balls down here. <laughs> Gee, what's that chest supposed to look like? Small, with the crest of the Blue Island Coalition on it, I think. Ah, yeah, right, right. Black Guardian knows what the captain wants it for this shortly before arriving. You go look upstairs. I'll see if I can find it down here. Okay. Oh, shit. They don't leave us any choice. We need to do something quick. You take on the old guy. I'll take the young one. Go. Uh, okay. I guess. Someone's dead. Throw a hook to the face. Okay, I'm getting attacked by more than one guy here. Isn't this the old guy? Come on, Seabald! Oh yeah! Take that! <laughs> nice! Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man! That wasn't part of the plan! <sighs> Not at all! Oh, what in blazes are we going to do now? Uh, Let's tie him up and gag him. When we arrive, we'll sneak out. Yes, yes of course. That, that makes sense. One of them said it's not much longer until we arrive. With a little luck, no one will notice they're gone until then. Come on, help me search. There must be a rope or something. And I thought we were over the hump when we made it on board. It just can't ever be easy, can it? Okay, there's the rope, but let me check real fast to make sure there's not anything else in here. I can use weapons, food, anything like that. Doesn't look like it, so let's just grab the rope. Poor lost souls. The probabilities have turned against you. I don't see anyone. Who are you? You are confused by my sudden appearance. But my identity is irrelevant. As are you, dear Sirius, unfortunately. What? Oh shit, please don't tell anyone we're down here. Please! We didn't mean any harm. These guys were just... You ask that I not reveal you. For your intentions were not evil. And I believe you. But sadly, it's not compassion that rules my deeds. The first beat of a wing must happen. It is the only way the probabilities will fall into place. This is the way it has to be. The way it has been for eons. I am sorry. What oh, the no. heck? Oh no! No! What are you doing? We're please, floating! Please what the? We, we, we just wanted to. I can't move. The two of you hid in the cargo and lived on our stocks. Then when Rick and Seabald found you, you gave them a beating. And all of a sudden, a veiled woman appeared and knocked you out with wild magic. 
Is that about it? Yes, I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Please, my dame, we... We didn't have a choice. You've got to believe us, the war, it... We, we just wanted a second chance, that's all. A second chance? Yes, I think I understand you. You wanted to start a new life in a new land. And as my ship is one of the only ships still sailing the route since the wars, you were simply forced to board without paying. Yes, we could work for you, you, you know? We could scrub the deck, peel potatoes, anything to pay off our debt. And as soon as we've arrived... Heartbreaking. How truly, truly heartbreaking. But let's be honest. You did have a choice. Uh -oh. You could have signed on like all the others did, but you didn't. She doesn't Instead, sound too sympathetic. <laughs> nested on my ship like flesh maggots, enjoying the good life while my crew actually had to earn their keep. And now you're feeding me this bullshit about veiled women and wild magic? How stupid do you think I am? I know you're kind. You are cutthroats. Filchers. At least have the guts to admit it. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for your explanations. If there's one thing I hate more than cowards, it's people trying to pluck my heartstrings. You two are scum. And there's only one kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up, Ruger. But Captain, oh man, try it. to run or something. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry. Jump over the side of the boat. Stayed in their room. But you, you can't do this. Oh, believe me, I can. <laughs> no, I. <laughs> Oh, well, look at that. Someone's woken up. Rise and shine. Tie him and his friend together and feed them to the fish. Good luck in your new life, friend. What the? Oh, man. I hate the ocean. We're going to get eaten by sharks. <laughs> Breathe. Tell me, what is time to the dead? Dreams. Dreaming anyway. They come from the so many lives. people just talk, 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 and How never does it to be powerless? This is about your damn pride, team. I know I'm not real. <laughs> At least not according to your definition. I know damn well I do. It just... And there was nothing I could do. This isn't happening. But then again, this isn't happening. what is reality anyway? Selfish fool! Wow. <laughs> the heck was all that? Whoa. What? Talent, learn meditation, receive one memory point. Where am I? Leave the world in between by choosing the talent meditation and using it. Okay, I can't go into the water. And what are these? Talent, shadow, tongue, oil. Throw a bottle that creates a Glibbery oil puddle upon impact which lets enemies slip and slows them. Dual casting allows you to cast a more powerful version of a mental or light spell if you equip both hands and cast both at the same time. Oh my gosh, these are all different things. Okay, I thought each... That, this is like the skill trees. So which one is which? Which tree is which, I guess? Focus. Tempest. 
Shadow of the Wind. Is there three of these? Yeah, there's three. Okay, I thought there was four. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> My bad. So we have Focus. Tempest. Let's see what they do. Like, what's Tempest? The memory unlocks all warrior disciplines to you. It also reduces the weight of heavy armor by 10% and gr grants you rage. Okay. So that's warrior. This memory unlocks all rogue disciplines for you. Your stamina regeneration is boosted by 20% and you receive talent of the shadow wind which allows you to move silently for a short period of time. So we have thief, warrior, and I'm expecting magic. It is. We're going to do magic. But we'll change. Who knows? Maybe we'll do some magic and some warrior. Maybe mix them up. So let's look at our items now. We really don't have anything. We have a bucket. <laughs> and we've got focus. Shortly lowers the mana cost of all spells. We're going to favorite that guy. And then meditation. Now meditation is how we get out of here. So let's meditate. Oh wow, look at those textures. I mean, I wondered about using mods for this, but so far I don't really see a need to. At least not on a first playthrough. The textures look stunning. So where do we need to go? Okay, I think we need to head inland. And that's what I look like. Okay, I was wondering being in first person. But you know what? I think this is going to be a good place to call this one an episode. It seems like we've gotten through the tutorial. Now we're here on this land here. Need to head inland. As far as what's going on, I have no idea. I know they said you didn't need to play Neharim to understand this. But I'm cluelessly lost. But I have a feeling they kind of want that happening. I mean, we know that the character doesn't think he killed his family. The father thinks we killed the family. Beyond that, I was in and out of different realms and areas. Really, really interesting. So I can't wait to delve deeper into this. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys like this, give me some likes and thumbs up and uh, let me know down in the comments and I will keep doing this one as a let's play. Otherwise, we'll just get back to doing normal stuff. But either way, even if we do this as a Let's Play, Skyrim will go as normal alongside it. So I just want to say thanks, take care, have a good one, and we will see you next time.